How she not gon' tell her friends she really fucking a star? She too cute to ride a Uber, so I bought her a car. They been trying to catch up with me. I'm just hey, girlfriend. Welcome back to a another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Kobe. If you're not, thank you for coming back to my channel. This is a spend the night vlog. I know it has been a very long time since we have done long form content. I've been on my short form bag, and so I'm back. We're doing both. So. You all were actually in my shorter form TikTok that's gonna go up and sh YouTube shorts that's gonna go up in the morning. So we are going to spend the night. So to catch you up a little bit, I have work today. It's Thursday, went to the gym um, and I am upgrading my space. I'm moving soon and I'm my new apartment is just like luscious. I love it so much, but we've got to purge and we've got to clean and we've got to pack. And so first things first is we're purging. So today I purged my entire kitchen to my skincare took a shower I have this pimple patch on that I thought was this color of my skin when I bought it in the pack but I thought wrong so now I'm going to make me some dinner my birthday was just last week I turned 28 on July 15th and let me tell you something I was the turn up <laughs> I wanted to do something so chill and I ended up having a hangover for two days I hope that is a sign as to how my 28th year is gonna go because it went very well we had a damn good time getting back in my routines and um i need to get back on my fitness and losing weight and all of that um if you guys don't watch my shorter form content on tiktok or youtube shorts i'll put all the links and stuff here and the links will always be in the description box but i lost 25 pounds since january and then i gained about seven pounds back last week so we need to let those seven pounds go. Normally people shit on me for eating so late. It's about 10.30, maybe a little, about like 10.15, 10.30 at night. But last night I woke up at 2.30 in the morning starving and I ate dinner at nine. So I'm gonna continue to eat dinner late and y'all will just have to be okay. So yeah, we're gonna spend the night, so let's go. done i just did butter lettuce and i chopped it up i did cucumber black olives craisins um sunflower seeds and prosciutto and i'm gonna eat this and go to bed i'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow on my lunch break and so i went ahead and got this stuff pulled out i'm just wearing an oversized t-shirt those are my favorite to wear nike socks the sports bra is from the girlfriend collective i will link it down below and then these shorts are from amazon and i will link these down below as well they're on my amazon storefront and then i always wear my nike roches from like 2015. good night good morning i'm already halfway dressed to go to the gym it's about 7 30 7 45 in the morning i don't have to sign on to work till 9 but i have a lot of other personal work that i need to do so let's do some skincare and then we're gonna jump on and do that Being single in your 20s, especially your late 20s, is stupid, personally. Especially when you're such a lover girl like me. It's just dumb. Getting to know people is hard. Because I go into meeting men as forming like a friendship. And for me, honestly, that's how I 
quickly eliminate people that are not worth, worth my time. Because if you can't be a good friend to me, you'll be a horrible boyfriend to me. I think some of my best relationships were because, well, all of my relationships were great at one point because me and that person were genuinely best friends. And the men these days, old and young, y'all all, well not all, I won't categorize you all, but the men that I've encountered that are my age, one, y'all don't know what you want, two, you don't know what you don't want, and three, you're just along for the ride. You don't really care about stability or relationships, and I just don't have time for that. And then the older men, y'all need to go to therapy because somebody hurt you, and I don't know if it was your mom or if it was your past relationship or if it was your ex-wife, but I cannot heal you. I can't do that. I can't change you, I can't fix you, and I can't heal you, and I shan't take on that role. Thank you for coming to my seven in the morning TED talk. I honestly should be sponsored by Red Bull. I love every flavor but the white pan. They're so good. I drink them every day, which is not good, and I'm cutting back on them starting today. Today is my last one that I'm gonna have during the week. I usually just have them on the weekends and drink my coffee during the week and we're getting back to that. Something happened this morning, wasn't crazy, wasn't drastic, wasn't life-changing, but it just made me, made me remind myself just who the fuck I am. We're also having our greens that we made or that I made yesterday. And for that, I'm, what did Babs say? I'm back on my bullshit. That's where I'm at with it. Oh my God, I need to buy a strainer. My green juice is thicker than me. Okay, got my greens, got my lemon and lime water, and my Red Bull. I'm gonna drink this, ow. I'm gonna drink this and answer some of my emails so that we can keep getting brands to work with us. Before I start answering emails, I've got to write out a new workout. Like, can you get oh, Got my new workout written. Okay, bye. Okay, just got my one and only meeting done today, which is the check-in that I have with my boss. And I'm working on a project for one of our clients. So currently I am crunching numbers and I am not a numbers girly pop, but I do do the analytics for some of my clients and um, as the digital girly pop. So right now I am pulling, well yesterday I pulled top emails from year over year. I don't talk a lot about what specifically I do at work mainly because I don't know what I can and can't talk about um, based on like confidentiality and things like that. But I know for sure that I can talk about the process of pulling analytics because I talk about it all the time. So I'm about to run numbers for the first part of the project right now. And then I'm gonna make me some breakfast and then we're gonna go to the gym. I'm done with the gym. I'm back. I changed into just like some comfy clothes so I can finish working and I'm eating cucumbers and ranch. I'm going back and forth between my corporate job and adding some things on my Amazon storefront and my LTK for things that I just bought. I'm also actually waiting on an Amazon purchase that I, I ordered yesterday. I'm trying to be a better influencer. I think I really shifted into the content creating space this last year, 2022. The year of 27 was really, really, really hard for me. We are gonna be better. And so I love being an influencer. I love sharing the things that I buy and how I use them. You guys know I'm a skincare fanatic. I just want to get back to being an influencer and not just a content creator. So I'm trying to do better with all of my things that I have on um, social and just being more present and making it truly the job that I feel like it is and that I want it to be because I said one of my goals for this year for 2023 was to make content creation my full-time job and I feel like I'm still an influencer I get dms all the time for where certain things are from it's just not in the influx that it used to be when I was on tv which we're hoping that I can get back on tv on a reality show because I love doing reality TV. I think it's great. It's so funny. It's the gag. Okay. Hey, girlfriend. Long time no see. It's been a minute since I've done a daily vlog. Okay, I'm all ready to go. I just put the same thing on that I had on, which was my. I just put my Beyonce T-shirt back on because I love it, and it didn't get super. It didn't get super sweaty. And then these running shorts are from TJ Maxx, and then my everyday bag. These are my new Birkenstocks that I got for my birthday. I used to have them when I was in grade school, but. I don't know if I like them with this outfit, so I'm just gonna put on my regular Arizonas rather than my Bostons. We're on our way to Duncan first, then Walmart. I'm looking for mainly oversized graphic tees, like I said earlier, and 
Now I've added running shorts to the mix because the only pair of running shorts that fit are the running shorts that I have on and they are a very bright distinctive color. So wearing them once every day is not gonna work. Like people always go, no, that I have them on. And then also a heating pad, my sciatica brick. And I forgot to put that heating, I have a heating patch that I could have put on my hip and I forgot to put it on before I left. My sciatica is literally, her, his, his about to take me out for the weekend. And my cousin just texted me, was like, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> what are you doing tonight? I'm trying to hit the street. And so I am not trying to hit the streets, but if all my cousins go, I'm going. I was on TikTok while I was standing in the shower one day and I saw this girl's post about, something about home decor. And so I went to go to her bio to look for the link for whatever she posted and she didn't have a link for it. Let me tell you, if you do not have links in your bio for the stuff that you're posting on social media, you're one, losing out on money, and two, you're making your audience, me, upset. Because I wanna support you, especially if it's things that I like, I wanna support you by shopping through your links, but also you are being of service. Like, you're making it easier for me. You're going out of your way to find something or maybe not even out of your way you just found something and you thought it was cool enough to share and you posted it on social media and I want to support you and now I don't have to go doing I don't have to go do the looking that you did so post the links girls and men but mainly girls post the links another thing that I'm proclaiming and manifesting that I get more comfortable with vlogging out in public which I know every vlogger like struggles with that but I brought two tripods today. We're getting the content. And what I have to remember, and I saw someone say this too, I can't remember who it was, but I have to remember that the content that I create and then edit, work so hard to edit and then post, I get, I make money from that. And so if I have to think of creating content, editing, doing the admin and all that, I've had to think about that as a full-time job so that I can be productive. Then I also have to think about actually getting the content outside of my home as a job as well as long as the camera is on me i'm not gonna have an issue it's not like i'm gonna be vlogging or putting the camera in random people's faces so everybody else is gonna have to be all right because one thing you're not doing is paying my bills okay what do i always say minding your business is free okay before i go while i have you don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell your friend to tell a friend to tell their friend to be a part of the girlfriends okay okay i'll see you guys when i get to duncan Together inside your heart, is there any room for me? I won't have to hold my breath till you get down on my knee Because you only want to hold me when I'm looking good enough Did you ever fool me? Would you ever picture us? Every time I pull my hair, there's any outfit You'll find me ugly and one day you'll disappear Cause what's the point of cracking it? Was never even now Did you ever want me? Was I ever good enough?